Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the empties for the month of May and I got a giant basket here full of products that I'm still quite amazed that I accumulate so much in month of May and let's get to it. So I'm gonna start here. I see like big giant uh, two containers of shampoo here and these are um, green virgin products uh, Moringa soap nut and citrus shampoo and conditioner and I did a review on this and these are great these are simply made with uh, uh, mo Moringa oil and soap nuts and citrus and they were working great they were smelling great and uh, yeah they work really well too so I really really enjoy these shampoos and they look like this uh, they are very very nice the shampoo has like that uh, soap nut liquid looking like texture and the conditioner it was like white colored like most mostly looking like a cream but they both really looked well and because they have citrus in them they are a little bit clarifying uh, so I prob they probably work really great for normal to oily hair but yeah, I enjoy these products. Uh, another bath product I see here, I got this She Moisture Zanzibar Marine Complex Replenish and Rejuvenate Body Wash. And I got this and also I still got the body lotion of this and it smells amazing. Like this stuff, it's so good. Um, if you love this scent, like this marine scent, like this stuff is freaking amazing. I'll, I don't think I came across a body product from She Moisture that I dislike so far. So yeah, this one worked really great. And it also gives back 10% of the sales go to community commerce initiative, which is really great to fight poverty. So yeah, I've been loving this product. Uh, because everything is in plastic, I'm not going to repurchase, just to make clear on that, <laughs> but yeah, moving on. Okay, I've got here Art Naturals Arabica Coffee Scrub, and this has been really amazing. I love that it had like, this was like a mixture, it had like sea salt in it, and it was great to reduce the appearance of cellulite, eczema, stretch marks, H spot, varicose veins and psoriasis and it has sugar and that sea salt in it and coffee and it smells great it smells like coffee and it worked great and it had some oil in it that uh, was helping moisturize my skin because I will just use this and then I will just pat my skin dry and that's it no moisturizer so I really love this stuff this was really great another product that I was using because I kind of went on using scrubs and uh, anything to combat cellulite I guess <laughs> so I got here another body scrub and this is 13 lemons looks like this uh, this is 13 lemons vetiver coffee scrub and I really love the jar I'm totally gonna re reuse this jar it's so cute it's glass and it, I didn't smell the sense of vetiver in it. For me, it just smelled like coffee. Didn't bother me. It smelled really good. Uh, I used this stuff. It was like really nice, full of oils in it again, and leave my skin all moisturized. So I've been loving this stuff also. So coffee scrubs for me are, I don't know, amazing. They work great. Nothing bad to say about them. Another product here another body product uh, this is H&M Conscious Sweet Lemon Hand Wash and I got this last year uh, I'm kind of going through all my plastic products right now to finish them and move on from them <laughs> and this one is fragrance with essential oils it's a clean product it has sustainable ingredients I really love it it's really simple uh, all the H&M products that I came uh, across they work really well for me so this one it smells so good it's nothing not too intense the scent the scent is so pleasant even that I'm not so much into lemons 
Uh, this one is, is really nicely scented. I really enjoy that. So I love this hand wash from H&M. I've got here a set of body counter. I did a review on this body counter products. And I had, I think, body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. Some of the writing just came off. But yeah, these are all scented. They had like a citrus mimosa scent to them. And it's they smell so good. It's not too citrusy again. And it was such a pleasant scent. And they worked really, really well. I really enjoyed these body counter products. Also, they come in plastic. I'm not going to repurchase. But uh, this was sent to me anyway. And yeah, I'm going to link the review down below. If you're interested in more reviews about beauty counter. I've got here a Schmitz deodorant. This is bergamot and lime, and I really love this uh, deodorant. These are made with baking soda, and be careful if you're allergic to it. Some people get burns from it, but yeah, this has been working really, really well for me. Uh, because this one is in a plastic container, I'm not gonna repurchase, repurchase it in plastic, but they also have it in a glass jar, so I have like a ton, I think I purchased them I purchased like five or six from TJ Maxx. They were at a really great price. Uh, but I've seen them in glass jars too. So I'm not gonna repurchase them in uh, plastic containers, almost also uh, only in the glass jars in the future. And these work amazing for me. I've got here, uh, this is Lux Botanics Marula Hydrating Serum. And this is great. Uh, this is so moisturizing for my skin. I really, really enjoy that. Uh, it still smells so good. <laughs> uh, this little container. It had like a slight plant scent to it, but very, very pleasant. Nothing too crazy. And yeah, I've been enjoying this. It's a, like an oil serum and it was keeping my, my skin very nice and plump. So I really enjoy this. And because we are still at body care, I've got, I want to share with you, I've been using this like Manic Panic um, coloring. Uh, this is a semi-permanent hair color cream and this is vegan, that's why I'm going to mention it. This is vegan, um, it has some good ingredients in it. This is made with all natural vegan dyes and uh, I really like it, um, I kind of have like a some depends on the color that you are using some work better than others uh, some are really intense that i have to mix it, mix it with like a conditioner and then i'll kind of use it and spread it in my hair i don't just directly try not to put it directly in my hair because it's a little bit too intense this one was the shade blue steel it didn't really work for me i didn't see a lot of blue in my hair from this one but yeah I've kind of used it to tone down my color to bring like a silver in my hair and this one worked a little bit so I still got I think one left I think I have uh, one purple and one in blue still and then I'm gonna empty but I've been I mean kind of like this but it comes in plastic so any other option out there anything coloring uh, to color my hair without coming in plastic let me know because i'm really curious about that because i didn't cross anything else except henna so is there anything else let me know okay i've got oh okay i've got here uh i had a sample of tata harper redefining body balm and the full size looked like this and I've had here this little sample and it was the sample was so tiny I I feel it's just a balm nothing too crazy nothing you know I put it on my uh, stretch marks actually on my legs and I, I didn't notice anything too crazy nothing mirac miraculous or something from it um, but yeah it feels like balm it looked like balm um, but yeah it smells good. It smells like flowers. <laughs> uh, yeah, but 
Other than that, I don't know. I wasn't so crazy about it that I would go and purchase a full size. So that makes sense. Okay, yeah, I got here a soap, and actually this is um, pure botanical coconut oil soap. And I've got this soap because I tried to do some research uh, on how to do my dishes uh, plastic free. So I found some people using uh, coconut castile soap, and this is the one that I found. And uh, even though that it says pure botanical, uh, at the ingredients it says it has, um, let me see. In, at the ingredients it says it has fragrance. So I'm not sure if it's all natural fragrance or just added fragrance. But yeah, it doesn't smell much. It doesn't have like a lot of scent to it, but it really, works great doing my dishes with it so i found a soap to do my dishes with it and it works amazing i even like i was kind of compared i had like a castile soap that i was using comparing to my soap and it works the same so uh, if you want to try a soap this kirk's original coco castile it works amazing uh, I'm, I want to try Dr. Broner's also Castile soap to see if it's going to work the same. But yeah, I've been loving this and probably I'm going to repurchase it unless I'm going to find something better. But yeah, dishes, plastic free, yes. Now I have some um, lifestyle products and um, I've got another packaging of Levity Brew. This is a mixed, uh, a blend of coffee and herbs, and this is to give you enlightening energy. And actually, this is, uh, I will have this coffee, coffee mixed with tea, when I will crave an extra cup of coffee in the afternoon. And this one is made with organic coffee, organic yerba mate, organic chicory, organic green tea, and guarana seed powder. So amazing, amazing product. And it has like um, the taste of it. It's exactly like a blend of coffee and tea. So I really enjoy this. Love this. Uh, I have some proteins here, and this is pure goodness premium superfood and this is a blend uh, it's a superfood blend and it had 30 grams of protein per serving 10 grams of fiber and 5.5 grams of omega this is in the scent vanilla and when I first tried this I thought it tasted disgusting like seriously <laughs> I don't know, imagine greens mixed with proteins. It wasn't really, really good. So you kind of have to blend it. I really enjoyed it to blend it with cashew milk, actually, for a better flavored, I don't know, taste. But uh, after I kind of got used to it, I was just blending it with water and it was fine. Uh, it mixed really well. Uh, I was mixing it at my gym, you know, I was just shaking a bottle and mixed really well. So this has like some amazing uh, ingredients in it. It has pumpkin seed, chia seed, flax seed, quinoa, pomegranate, kale, almonds, avocado, avocado and coconut. So it's really, really great ingredients. And also 1% of the cells go to fight hunger, which is great. So. I like this product, but it comes in a plastic container, so. <laughs> so, I found a TJ Maxx and I used this raw green vegan protein uh, vanilla, what is this? Drink mix, they call it a drink mix, but this is um, a, such a simple protein powder. It's pea protein, hemp protein, Sacha Inchi, flax seeds, uh, natural vanilla flavor, and stevia. So this was a very simple product that I really enjoyed. Now, even though this, um, this uh, it looks like a paper bag. Actually, of course, the inside it's uh, plastic, plastic coated because 
yeah, they can't make it just paper because it will get wet. But I think it's less plastic than a giant container. So I guess it's a step ahead. But yeah, I've been loving this vegan protein and I'm trying to find more vegan proteins. So if you have any suggestions, please put them down in the comments down below because I'm willing to try something, um, something new and vegan if it's possible. And the last product that I have to talk about, I've been trying and I've been loving this Simply Gum uh, gums. <laughs> And uh, they come in different flavors. Uh, I only tried the ginger and the cinnamon, and they're like smaller pieces than your regular gum, but I don't mind using like two or three little pieces of the gum. And what's so cool about this, this is plastic free, totally sustainable. Uh, these are made with very, very simple ingredients they uh they even pictured it on their container this is organic raw cane sugar a natural cycle base which is a wax and citrus acid ginger flavor for this one and uh yeah it just said natural flavor for the cinnamon vegetable glycerin and rice flour and most uh most ingredients are organic so i i've been loving this product it's also non-gmo and right now i i have their mints which are also amazing and also about three ingredients in them and they come in a metal container uh, so these are uh, amazing that was my empties video for the month of may uh, I'm, I'm working really hard on using all my products that come in plastic and get rid of them. Hopefully this year uh, I will get rid of all the plastic products that I have, even though that I have like a lot left. <laughs> but yeah, I, that's my goal and I hope I'm gonna succeed uh, probably clearing most of it this year. So please let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.